Hello Pisces, these are your tarot cards for August of 2023. I'm Danielle Stimson of Learn Reiki Philadelphia, and if you're into things like Reiki, crystals, or tarot, I highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. I also recommend checking out my website, learnreikiphiladelphia.com, if you want to learn more about my live online Reiki certification classes to schedule your own one-on-one -on -one distance tarot reading or Reiki session, and so you can check out my Reiki Charged Crystal Collection. So without any further ado, let's see what August has in store. Okay, so Pisces, this month is a lot of a lot of letting go to create room for new things. There's a lot of opportunity here, but it's definitely going to be a bit of a bittersweet letting go. It's not going to be the easiest. So there's some there's some advice and some guidance and some wisdom in this reading for you. So Let's just sort of dive right in. The focus for the month is the Eight of Swords. Now, the traditional image for this particular Eight of Swords is uh, a woman blindfolded, surrounded by swords that are in the ground, like point down, and she's feeling like she can't move. But unbeknownst to her, if she starts to kind of move around, she will find her way out of it. And that's very much what it means. This is a feeling of being very stuck, and this is also, swords are mental. So this is feeling very stuck, very stuck in your mind. So an attitude of stuckness. Uh, yeah, you may not have as many choices as you want. You may be up against some really finite uh, scenarios. But what this card is saying is basically this is a time to start to find your way through and find a way through all of the things that are around you. The energy that you're bringing in with you from July is the two of swords here we have a woman blindfolded which is typical of this card as well with the two swords down and with the swords down that's not a position of action that's not even a position of of thought this is especially with the blindfold on she's in a position where she's being indecisive she's not seeing the swords for what they are it's this sense of of like paralyzation like mentally paralyzed maybe even mentally emotionally paralyzed it's almost like a overwhelming fear, difficult to see things for what they are. You don't know what to do. So that's a deeply uncomfortable place to be entering the month with. The challenge for the month, this is where we start to get more into cups. Now, cups are about emotions. It's about how we feel. This card represents the, the challenge of the month being the things that you're going to have to leave behind, the things that are going to end, the things that may... Uh, move on from you even depending on the scenario for each of you independently I definitely recommend for you Pisces checking out the videos for your sun moon and rising sign if you happen to know all three it'll give you a much more precise idea of your month ahead but this is a card of it's usually seen as the crying over spilled milk card so here's three cups that have been spilled they're empty they're not full and she's clearly quite upset about those. What she's failing to recognize is that she does have two full cups right behind her. She's not alone. She's not brokenhearted and dejected, although she may feel that way to some extent. So what this says as a challenge is grieving what you've lost is totally natural and okay, but to do it at the expense of seeing what you have might not be in the best balance. So that leads us into how best to move forward. What are you best to focus on this month? Which actually is a wonderful card. The Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a card, well, wands are action. It's actually doing. And this card is generally considered like unbridled good things. This is celebration. This is happiness. This is also, when I read, I tend to see this card as you're in a way putting the cornerstones up or like the four corners of what you want your new life to look like. This door is open. It's sort of like the old expression, um, when one door closes, another one opens. This is the one that's opening. So this is, this is definitely what you want to see when you're talking about like loss and having, you know, not a total loss, but a partial loss and you feel a little bit sore in your heart. What this is saying is to focus more on those cups that we saw in the last card that are behind her, that are full. This is about 
starting to set up the life that you want to have. Now that you don't have so many things that you feel like you can't decide what to do or where to go, take the things that are most important to you, put them in the place that's most prominent and work from there and there will be a sense of celebration. So yeah, like I said, this month is a lot of bittersweet. The bitter will be the letting go, the sweet will be what's coming in and what you already have and being able to see that in a new light and connect with it in a new way. But this is the advice for the best path forward, focusing on the things you can control and starting to create a future based on those things and it's actually going to be a better future than you might consider is possible when you're in that place of what am I letting go of. So this is a very good card. So this does kind of overshadow some of the difficulties of the cards before it. Um, and again, none of this is about anything quote unquote bad happening to you. Just there's definitely some heart sickness about what will be left behind. And also a lot of fear and a lot of worry about where do I go, like almost mental paralysis too. So the next and last card of this reading for you this month is a category called the Whispers from Your Guides, which is exactly what it sounds like. And here we have another eight, which is the eight of coins or pentacles. This particular card is a card of being hard at work, oftentimes seen as like apprenticeship, but even more so, I often see this card as hard at work and perfecting one's craft. This is your guides basically saying this is one, this month is one part of a much larger set of goals. In a way, Pisces, you are working towards something in the future and your guides want to say going through this month, going through these shifts and these, these challenging letting goes and embracing the things that are good and starting to move forward from that pain will definitely be in alignment with your soul's purpose, your goals that you've set, and the things that are important to you. This will be a big part of how you perfect yourself and your journey and your professional world. Uh, this is also how you perfect your connection to money and resources for some of you too. Definitely, this is going to be a month that teaches you a lot and gives you a lot of skills that will almost pay dividends to you in the future, that what you learn will be of good service to you in the future and definitely advance you on your soul's purpose. Sometimes when we set a goal, we see all the things we need to do and we know that that's a long list, but what we're maybe not seeing as much is all the things that we need to let go of to make room for that thing that we want. This is a month of noticing that and shifting towards the things you want to do and knowing that you are going in the right direction. Yes, grief is good. It's got its place and give yourself time, room, and space for that. But also don't spend so much time there that you get paralyzed and stuck in it. Lean on the people you need for support. Get the self-care you need. Do all the things you can to cheer yourself up and reach out to those people that you love and care about and let them know that you're struggling a little bit. And that may be a huge boon to help you move forward. This is not a month of loss for the sake of loss. This is a month of leaving behind for the sake of embracing the things that are far more in alignment with your long-term goals and what you want to do in the future and are very much in alignment with your soul's purpose. So with that, Pisces, I wish you the best month that you can possibly have. If you need some support during the month, I do host a five times weekly healing live stream right here on YouTube. You can check the dates and times in the description below. You can subscribe with the notifications on, so hopefully you'll get some notifications of it. But essentially, you can just show up and get some really awesome Reiki healing. And you can even show up right on time and help pick the crystals for the crystal grid. And we can support you in all the ways that we possibly can. But Pisces, it's, it's definitely not all bad. It is all for the best in the long term. So all the best to you this month. Again, you can check me out at learnreikiphiladelphia.com. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a like. Have a wonderful month ahead, and I hope to see you again in September. So bye for now.